Now here we are going to talk about your case ESEC. Case ESEC is again and we can say we can use in spite of using if else statement like if our program is very big and uh, we have lot of confusion while creating our nested if case statement so we can go for case ESEC where we can use this case ESEC page statements when we do not have efficient resources or we can say efficient statement where we have repeated with your if else if. So we can go for state case or we can say case ESEC where it generally act as your switch cases where you will have the options what you need to select so automatically like the previous example I have taken you have wedge and non wedge two options when you select non wedge then you will get the list of non wedges you have then you can select one of it so you will be having a different cases different statement which works individually and just we need to use this particular case define a case so that ultimately automatically the decision will be taken individually so you know this will create an easy programming for you while you are creating any particular codes or any particular shell scripts and easily you can maintain the huge or bigger programs as well which have a lot of condition so let us check how we can use case esec in spite of your if else statement so here we are going to use case esec which is much you know efficient to use if other than using your nested you know decision making statements so here I'll be using a case statement that's the reason I'm just going to define the name as case.sh and uh, here I'm going to add the comment here we'll be using case isec statement which will be much better to use right so I'm going to create a program where I'm going to fetch a any entry from the user enter something correct and this I want to read in a variable called as a okay the same way I'm going to get the value from the user and I want that it should be accepted into the variable a now I'm going to start my case I'm going to start the case with my variable a into with I'm going to add a different kind of cases like my uh, case can be started with your for example I just want to check what the user has entered so I'll be starting with a to z in a small case and this is the case one we are going to start so in case one when you add any particular value into small letters so you should get the message you have entered the alphabet or the you know input in small case right once done with that what you will be doing is you come here end this case by giving double semicolons once done with that we'll start with the other case now here I'm going to add I'm going to enter the value in capital case echo you have I need to define case and I'm opening the case where I can define the case output as you have entered the input capital case correct so we can define in such a way post that again uh, I need to close this case and start with the under case now for example now here I'm going to add the value from 0 to 9 and start the case and here I can define you have entered input in number format right so this is the key case we have added I want to end it so I can end it in such a way the next case which we are going to start like you know I can define the 
question mark so like it will show you whether you have entered any special characters so I can define you have entered a input as special characters right again ended I want to get again uh, whatever the things you have entered if you have entered more than one value so you will be able to get the value printed and you should get echo you have entered more than one value so you can take this example and this and again I'm going to end the same using the command the sack done with that save the file run the case file I'm going to enter D okay same way again I'm going to run the file okay small I'm going to the number so it is showing you entered input in the number format same I'm going to run a file I've entered in a percentage so it is showing you you have entered a special character now the same file I'm going to run I'm going to enter small a so it is showing you you have entered into the small case same way if I enter the file uh, in more than one character I'm going to add like for example I'm going to add number one so it's showing you you have you have entered more than one value at a time right so this is what exactly how we can add different cases so uh, it is easy for you to you know create multiple parameters and uh, the decision making is very easy as well as you know the command configuration and the configuration of complete cases are again better than the other cases so this is what exactly we have seen like how we can use the cases how we can you know get the inputs so these are the cases which I have created so you can form different cases with taking different examples and check how you can create it so the best example you can also take uh, and create um, a menu card of a new hotel so you'll have multiple options whether you want a cold rings so, or you know when you define a cold ring name or you define the food items names so for that you can add the food items into the variables so this is what exactly uh, we have seen into this complete is case is sex statement where we have used the decision making done by this so into the next video I'm coming up with your uh, more uh, you know advanced programming into the shells which is called as a loop 